Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. This is your boy Legerani and today we have some very possible leaks regarding the museum. Commanders that we are all expecting to get a buff in the museum might just get a buff on the next update or the following update. These are not official leaks. You should always take this with a grain of salt because it can be true or it cannot be true but you're wondering why am i sharing this or why am i showing this so you've probably seen this picture already going through discord or probably someone shared it to you in your chat in the alliance or privately in my opinion from what i know this picture looks very legit and there is two reasons why i've done a video based on this picture because many of the leaks or the video leaks that I have done so far, you can always go back on my channel and check and you will see that all of them came true. The number one reason why I'm showing you this picture is because the same person who shared this picture before we even had the museum in the game, he shared a similar picture with all the commanders that right now we have in the museum. So that kind of strengthened the reason why this picture seems to be very legit. Now the second reason why I'm showing you this picture and why I'm doing a video based on this picture is because all the buffs, they look very legit and very believable type of buffs that our commander, our second generation of legendaries will receive based on this picture. Now before I'm gonna go further and talk about the, the picture and the buffs, that commanders will possibly get i need to explain a couple of things why i also believe that this museum is going to continue and is going to be a continue buff on all the legendaries depending on how old they keep getting they will keep getting buffs which means that even this generation the generation one of legendaries kvk1 tier one however you call them will receive extra buffs in the future when you go to the bundles we have super value bundles we have echoes of history which is a daily bundle now if we only have these commanders in the museum then why would we need a daily bundle i believe that pretty much everyone has maxed all their commanders or if you wanted to you could have maxed all the commanders in the museum have them all unlocked then why keep a daily bundle number two they added a supply depot right this is a seven day uh, coin supply which you can buy and you get quite a decent amount of coins as you notice on this account this is my uh, main account i do buy this seven day coin supply i find it to be really good then the number three when you have the pre kvk the eve of the crusade whichever kvk you're going into if you are registered you should all know by now when the pre kvk starts it is the third day of the pre-KVK, when you have the training, you get a ridiculous amount of exhibit coins and a ridiculous amount of relic coins, but just gaining a little bit of power. Then the number four reason, it is your activity points. You get on 20 activity points, you get 36 relic coins, and then you get another 20 relic coins when you reach 100 activity points. Now many of you probably haven't noticed this, but we used to get 5 epic commander sculptures on the 100 activity points. Not that many of us still need epic commander sculptures and they added the relic coins. Now if we get all this daily, this 100% has to tell you that the museum will never stop here. The museum is their way of improving all those commanders which we deem not worthy to use or some players are making videos like worst commanders to invest on or worst commander to use for this is what the museum will be for and this is what the museum will do in the future will keep enhancing and enhancing and enhancing and add layers over layers over layers of buffs on these commanders in the future and make them very worthy or make them very competitive. You have all seen how powerful Nevsky is, Scipio, uh, Flavius, all these commanders that are now being introduced, all these new commanders, they're super powerful and 
obviously the older commanders are stopping to draw. Now the museum what will do will make all these older commanders to be competitive or to keep it up with the competition. Because for example, let's go into a YSG, right? You have unlocked the YSG, you have unlocked his uh, relics, so you have the buffs. But this doesn't mean it has to stop here. In a future update, maybe six months from now, eight months from now, they can introduce another update and then you can unlock extra buffs and benefits for YSG. Maybe he will get uh, more Mars speed, maybe he will get more skill damage bonus, maybe he will get more attack, some health, more defense. They will give him another 200 on his active skill damage. So all this is possibilities that can happen to YSG in the future or any commanders for that matter. This is the reason we are able to acquire so many relics and exhibits right now into the game. And this is something that I started to advise some of the friends that I keep in touch with and I talk with and I want to advise you all as well. It is very important to try to save as many exhibits coins and as many as relic coins and try to use it on the commanders that you really think you're going to use. Because in the future, if they keep introducing more and more updates for these commanders, let's just take for example Mehmed, right? He will get more and more updates and he keeps getting bonuses and buffs. It will cost a lot more than the previous unlock, which means that you can get to a point where you possibly have to spend four, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand rally coins just to unlock that bonus. This can be a very, very high possibility. And possibly you might even need exhibit coins to unlock that layer as well. So you never know. That can also be a very high possibility. What I have always tried to do and what I have always tried to say through my videos, I'm always trying to prepare and help people for the future because there is something very important about the museum that you didn't know. When you press view on a commander, if you want to salvage, you can salvage the exhibits, but you cannot salvage the relic coins. And the relic coins are the most rare coins. It's not the exhibits. If you want to purchase the bundles, they give very low amount of relic coins. This can also mean that this event, which for me it's over because I came from KVK3, I came to Season of Conquest with this account, so I had the Civilization Explorer event. There is a very high possibility that this event will come around again, the Civilization Explorer, if new commanders will be introduced or new buffs will be introduced for some of the older commanders or the commanders that we already have in the museum. Now let's finally talk a little bit about this picture. Alex, Tomiris, Genghis Khan, Saladin, Constantine and Edward are coming into museum. The only reason why it made me think that this is not legit, it is the fact that Wu Zetian was not in here. Now that might sound very crazy, but Wu Zetian, it is a second generation commander. So we have Charmaine, which is already in the museum now, and that's the, the first generation you get in KVK1, but Wu Zetian, you get her on KVK2, so it is a second generation commander. It is exactly like I was mentioning, what they're trying to do with the museum is give more utilities to these commanders, be competitive with some of these newish commanders that are being introduced, so you don't feel that, oh my god, I wasted 700 uh, sculptures on this commander and now it's useless. This is kind of the whole theory or the whole process behind the museum. But I'm pretty sure that the more they keep introducing and the more they keep buffing these commanders, at some point we can make some very interesting pairs between these commanders. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. This is your boy Geroni signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.